What's up guys, Bress here. In this video, I'm gonna share with you 10 of the classic MMO features that we're going to see in Pantheon Rise of the Fallen, the new MMO RPG currently in development at Visionary Realms. If you're not up to speed with Pantheon, then I'd suggest checking out my more detailed overview video to get a flavor of the game. Also, it's worth mentioning that the features listed in this video are in no particular order. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's dive right in. Number 10, limited fast travel options. Pantheon will feature limited fast travel options as the developers want players to experience the world rather than just teleporting between instances. There will be some options to fast travel when grouped so that you don't fall too far behind if your group has moved on whilst you are logged out, but it looks like this will only be possible if you've already visited the area at least once in the past. Number nine, focus on the open world. Another classic feature that Pantheon has promised is that the open world will be bustling with life. Zones won't become dead once everyone reaches endgame. The world itself will continue to be the focus. There won't be any instance dungeons or raids, so exploration of the open world will always remain an essential part of the game. For that reason, I'm hoping that Pantheon will bring back that traditional MMO feeling of the world being alive. Number eight, focus on group play. It looks like it's going to be very difficult to accomplish much in Pantheon as a solo player. This was fairly typical in classic MMOs. Group play is going to be essential not only in dungeon and raid content, but also whilst questing and exploring the rest of the world. Hopefully this focus on group play will encourage players to interact and help build the realm community. It also means that toxic players are going to struggle to accomplish anything and will hopefully encourage them to either play nice or just quit the game. Number seven, no group finder. Whilst group finders provide a convenient way to put together a group and clear content as quickly as possible, they do make the experience feel very anonymous. Pantheon isn't going to feature a group finder that will pair you with random players and teleport you straight into the action. You'll be forced to communicate with other players and be part of the community if you want to take part in group play. Again, this will help build the social environment and weed out the toxic players. Number six, class identity. Rather than most classes being able to perform every role, classes in Pantheon will be far more reliant on each other. Traditional roles such as tank, DPS, healer and support will feature, and groups will have to be carefully put together based on the encounter. Yes, this will make putting a group together a little more difficult, but I feel that it's going to be worth it as it will really give the sense that your class is unique and meaningful. This is certainly a feature that will help provide that classic MMO feel. Number five, optional questing. In Pantheon, questing will be optional and not the main way to level your character. This is a classic MMO feature that stems back to before the original World of Warcraft game, which was one of the earlier games to make questing the primary means of gaining experience. To be honest, this is a feature that I'm kind of on the fence about right now, as less focus on questing has traditionally meant more focus on grinding. However, Visionary Realms have said that this won't be the case and that there will be plenty of ways to gain experience and progress your character that don't involve constant grinding. Number four, not focusing on end game. The team at Pantheon have been trying to avoid the term end game as it suggests that the game doesn't become fun until you reach max level. This is the case with quite a few modern MMOs. I really enjoy World of Warcraft, for example, but even the developers at Blizzard have admitted that the leveling experience needs work and that WoW is essentially end game focused. Pantheon will focus on the journey rather than the destination and they intend to make every level feel meaningful. Personally, this is probably the classic MMO feature that I'm most excited to see implemented. Number three, the traditional combat system. Many recent MMOs have attempted to implement action-based combat systems. Some have done really well at this and some have utterly failed. From what we've seen so far, Pantheon isn't trying to revolutionize MMO combat and come up with the next big action combat system. They're taking the traditional formula that many of us have come to love over the years and are giving it some polish. This means that people who don't like tab targeting and auto attacks probably won't enjoy the combat in Pantheon, and that's fine. 
there are plenty of great action combat MMOs to choose from. Pantheon however is targeting a specific audience and developing the game for that audience, which I personally think is the single best decision that Visionary Realms has made. Number 2 Consequences When You Die One thing that was often present in classic MMOs was particularly harsh consequences if you died. Whilst Visionary Realms haven't released any specifics, they have said that death will sting in Pantheon. However, they have also mentioned that they're not going to go too far with this and implement a death system in which you permanently lose hard-earned items or experience. Hopefully, they'll find a good balance that makes you want to avoid dying but not avoid certain content due to the penalty being too high. Number 1. The game isn't intended to be casual friendly. All of the points so far essentially feed into this final point. According to the dev team, Pantheon is going to be a hardcore challenging game, and the company makes no apologies for that. This will mean that the game won't appeal to everyone, but for the players that the game is actually targeted at, it might just be the perfect fit. It's my belief that too many MMOs have tried to go after the mass market and please everyone, with the result being that they end up pleasing nobody. Only time will tell if Pantheon is going to be a success, but I think they're giving themselves a much better chance by targeting the hardcore audience, rather than trying to build another one-size-fits-all MMO. So there you have it, 10 classic MMO features that we're going to see in Pantheon. Of course, this list isn't exhaustive, so let me know the classic features that you're looking forward to seeing in the comments down below. Also, if you like the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for regular content, and I will see you next time.